Abiotic Factor by Deep Field Games is a methodical masterpiece designed with deep inspiration and love of the Half-Life series. You might notice it in the setting or creature design, but this game doesn't stop there. It goes beyond with fun, satisfying mini-games, interesting systems to unlock base building designs and smooth yet fast-paced combat. I want to talk about the mini-games more because as someone who loves games, I was super impressed with how simple yet enjoyable they can be. It never feels like a chore in this game to complete a minigame. In fact, it feels satisfying and impactful to the immersive elements that the game has arranged for us to engage with. Something's in this out of balance game, here. some mysterious disaster Whoa. is taking place nice. on the first day of work at this new facility. Somewhere? The game invites you to investigate no. and explore while interacting with the you many NPCs scattered it. around the facility. Their dialogue is fun and fits pretty well with the environment. I genuinely uh, okay. felt excited so every time well, we interacted with a new person. Looks to me Plus, like these interactions busy. help progress um, the story. Look, we'll okay, you did that way cleaner Exploration than is important you in this game and rewards you greatly, right there. allowing you to build looks a bigger like base all, and advance right? through uh, the mysterious framework the of the storyline. In this game, you have to manage basic needs like food, water, fatigue. There is even a bathroom minigame. That's right. You heard oh, me excuse right. Excuse me. Excuse you me. You have to go potty. Your in this epidermis game. is showing. Which you think could be annoying or tedious, but the level design is so solid, it never feels like it ruins the fun. Also, your needs can be ignored for a very comfortable amount of time, giving you a very appropriate amount of freedom in your gameplay. Whatever mystery is taking place like in this facility has trapped the players inside and it's up to them to survive and potentially escape this nightmare. This is where base building comes into play. In order to arm yourself and stay alive and well, you need to use various crafting tables, beds, storage containers, and base fortifications. Every upgrade is an element that can be a necessity to achieving your ultimate goal of uncovering the true nature of this event and escaping this mess. If you are wondering what game you should check out, or keep an eye out for um, so this new year, I highly recommend Ambiotic Factory. Especially if you are a half life fan and enjoy base building, or are looking for something to play with a good friend or something. I played this with my husband and we had a If you are a person who feels saddened by the egregious models of modern games, some modern games, you can ignore them and check out awesome games like this one. I walked away from the demo feeling like I ripped off Deep Field Games for letting me play their demo in quotation marks for so long. That was such a bittersweet feeling. The great thing about a game like this is it can be hosted on a local PC, which means more power for the host. Although you could play this game solo and still have a lot of fun with it, literally every game I've ever played that has multiplayer is obviously better with friends and family. Another topic I have to come back to is how long the demo is. I'm using quotes every time I say demo here because this game has such a nice amount of stuff packed into it. I can tell they are planning a lot for their scheduled release and I find myself very excited to see what they do next. Once we build up our base pretty well, I actually found myself getting a little too comfortable and just enjoying cooking the weird alien meat for my hubby and I. In order to get to that point, first we crafted the bed and crafting table. Every crafting table you make needs electricity, so don't forget to build it close to a socket. Your inventory is limited, so organizing your items and chests is super important. You can package objects with a chance to keep them intact. This is how we got big filing cabinets and a fridge for organizing our base. Then we started exploring. This is where much of the magic of the game happens, looting items, going to your Imagine tab, unlocking new recipes, and investigating the mysteries. One of the main reasons I was so inspired by this game to make this video is because in this modern day and age, finding a new game like this that was made with such deliberation and love is a real treat. I'm so grateful to have been able to enjoy this with my husband, and we will absolutely be playing a lot more of it on its planned release date of May 2nd, 
2024. I think that games like this are the ones that set the real precedent that other games should absolutely be striving towards in this modern era. It's not enough just to have millions of textures in a game if it's not fun or exciting to play. That is all. Thanks for watching. Check out Abiotic Factor by Deep Field Games and tell me what you think. Dear Mr. Scully, Thank you. your Mac friend, Brent Rambo.